Welcome to Two Cents Sharp. We're a couple of trumpet players who sort through the best and worst of the online trumpet community, so you don't have to. Then we give our two cents. Welcome back, friends. Today we return to our Brass Holes episode. This is where we find some of those posts and comments online where people are being especially stupid for no real reason. And then we make fun of them. Because why not? Today's episode includes a few posts from the Trumpets, Trumpeters, Trumpeting group on Facebook. It's actually kind of sad because we can rely pretty heavily on this very large group for plenty of brass holes and pedagogues materials. We're not really trying to shame the group because there's also genuinely good people, posts, and comments. But for some reason, there's just a lot of brass holes and pedagogues on there. But hopefully we'll see some improvement once people realize just how ridiculous they're behaving. Because we aren't reading super long paragraphs or anything, we thought it'd be fun to make a game out of this. So, we're going to rate the comments with a score between 1 and 10. 1 means the person wasn't too bad, but maybe they were a little off and just need a gentle reminder to be careful. 10 means they were absolutely terrible and really should be banned from trumpet talk until they can get their act together. (laughs) Obligatory reminder here. Do not go searching for these posts or people. Just because they're being brass holes doesn't mean that you should be one too. Our first post features the old over-attached girlfriend meme with the text, I sold all your trumpets, now we can spend more time together. The guy who posted it wrote, reply as her husband. Oof. I think I'm going to have to give that one like a six. Yeah, I mean. It's not overtly, maybe even a five, because it's it's not straight up like super offensive, but also it's already setting a bad precedent by like assuming that it's a straight man and like also. It's it's, just inviting trouble. Yeah, it's inviting trouble. On its own, I don't think it's that bad, but. We as a trumpet community and we as a humanity are not quite ready for that kind of innocent humor. There are going to be a lot of nasty comments on here. So yeah, I was going to give it a five. So our first comment says, okay, then we'll have to kiss for six hours a day. I mean, that seems like another five. I was going to give it a three. Like I, I read it in kind of a ridiculous tone, but at least he wants to spend more time with his wife. Yeah, I'll bring it back down because, like, it is spending time, but it's just, it's icky. <laughs> yeah. We're getting a divorce, and I want all the trumpet money plus our house, you scum. Ah. This guy seems like fun at a party. <laughs> yes. He sounds like a villain. You scum! I'll give that one a five. Oh, I was going to have seven. Uh, it, I mean, it's not, like, terrible, terrible, but also this, this person is just so stupid. Like, you're putting trumpets above like your marriage first of all and second of all you're like trying to make them homeless and immediately insulting them like there's definitely more than just trumpet selling going on in this scenario yeah Yeah. they busted out the d word so that's why i went a little heavy but i guess we average out to six our next comment reads no problem sweetie i just purchased a drum set i'm actually gonna give that like a one like i i wouldn't say it's a zero yeah, I'd give this, like, a two, because, like, you're missing the point, dude, but th- that's it. Yeah, it... <laughs> the the wife in this story just is not getting enough time with the spouse. Like, that's the issue, not the fact that it's loud. Or maybe... No problem, honey. My favorite trumpets are at my girlfriend's apartment. A sad amount of people found this to be the best response. Wow. I'm giving that, like... Eight, seven, eight, seven or eight. Nine. <laughs> that's that's such a gross womanizing. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, so you're just you're... cheating on your wife. <laughs> that's, you know, cheating is like. The problem here is not. <laughs> like, you, you somehow think that selling all of somebody's trumpets so you could spend more time with them and cheating are on the same level? <laughs> Next comment The winning answer. I'm not horny anymore. Goodbye. The implications. Like, it makes it sound like owning the trumpets is what made him horny. Or, or, take a step even further back. He doesn't have his horns, so he's not horny. 
watch oh. watch that that be the intention of this comment. Oh my goodness, that didn't even occur to me. <laughs> it just hit me. So Dude, like, okay, point five. No, no, no. I'm gonna raise it because it is a double entendre. That's okay. why it's not a solid zero for me. <laughs> like I, I'm gonna give that commenter. If you meant horny as in the sexual attraction, I'm going to give you like a five. It's weird, gross, and confusing in that context. But if you literally just meant I'm not horny anymore as in you have no more horns, I'm going to give you like a 0.25 because that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of comments about divorce and or murdering the wife, by the way. Yeah. And a lot of those got likes, so check yourself, guys. That's yeah, sad. not okay. The next post is another meme that says, Marry a girl who says things like, I'm proud of you. I can't believe you're mine. You're right. I was wrong. You could do it, baby. Another trumpet? I bet you'll sound even more amazing. I don't think that's bad on its own. Like, I mean, the you're right, I was wrong thing is a little, like, egotistical yeah but i could see that same thing happening with like the genders flipped still it's a, it's like even it's, then it's not a joke i really i would like. give it a one just for that one line that like it's i mean if that's your preferred way to have a relationship run like i'm not gonna complain about that that's a very subjective thing i'm gonna give it a one yeah that's i i agree like at the very least Besides that one line, it's a sweet display of self-sacrifice. Also, like, OP here didn't put any ca caption on this meme that said, like, comment what you would want or anything. So it was literally not overtly yeah. <laughs> inviting this kind of, like, in inviting creepy discourse. But you know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't be on this episode if it wasn't. First comment... If you really want that gold-plated straight mute, I'll sell my car and ride my bike to work. Huh? Why would you want a gold-plated straight mute? That wouldn't sound very good. <laughs> like, Oh, well, maybe it's a collector's item. Yeah, I mean, it'd be pretty, Still would but good. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a five. I just Because think... you want your wife to have to bike or walk to work. So you can get a collector street view that's not even going to have any real playing value. Yeah. Our next comment reads, That's going to be one of the main requisites in the relationship agreement. Boyfriend can buy as many musical instruments as he can afford. This may include, but is not limited to, trumpets, cornets, flugelhorns, pocket trumpets, piccolo trumpets, guitars, electric guitars, violins, and trombones. You have prenups for... <laughs> dating <laughs> that's so weird and toxic and i'm giving this like a six or a seven yeah seven that's uh like what else is in your weird creepy contract man yeah, this, this... <laughs> well then this guy says sounds good now but wait till after the wedding then it's all another horn you've only got one mouth <laughs> wow someone's marriage is on the rocks yeah Yikes, man. I'm giving that a three. You need to have a talk with your spouse. I'm giving it like a, a four. <laughs> yeah, like, could be worse, could be better. Sounds personal, man. Our next comment reads, I heard that a set of heavy caps will improve most wives. Yeah. How? What are you even implying here? Don't think about that. I, I would rather not. I'm going to have to give this like another five we're getting a lot of fives in this episode we I'll haven't bump had this a lot up to of, a like... six i was gonna say six for this one this yeah. is like a little bit misogynistic joking oh it's so gross man imagine if you were saying that to your own mom stop that well fortunately there were plenty of comments on this particular post that were also from happy people that did find a supportive partner something tells me the issue with many of these unhappy commenters was not the partner but it's nice to know there was the happy things our final post is a picture of trumpeter Lucienne Renaudin posing in a chair with a trumpet that was posted in the group TrumpetPlayerOnline.com on Facebook. That is the name of the group. Weird, but okay. If you've listened to our last Brass Holes episode, you'd know that the blogger with a huge hate article would have had a field day with this particular picture. 
This one was sent to us courtesy of our first emerging leader, David Cook. He did a great job of calling out the negative commenters. Luckily, we got screenshots of a lot of the comments before an admin or the poster started deleting them. The first comment said, If Allison Balsam played jazz, she'd pose like this beauty. David replied here, Could you be any more gross about this? The commenter then said, People get offended so easily now. And David said, Apparently you can, deflecting like that. Oof. Okay. Sick burn, David. Sick burn. I'm going to have to give a 9. Yeah. Maybe, I'm not going to give it a 10 yet. There's some 10s in here. Don't worry, we'll get there. But it's a 9. Like, dude, really, that's so freaking gross. Yeah. Um, Way to stick up for Lucien, by the way, David. Our next comment reads, Yeah, she's beautiful, but she can play. It would be bad if she couldn't play, but she's not a poser. Good for her. So it's bad for people to take pictures with instruments? Like, I'm going to have to give this an eight if the person here is saying this picture wouldn't have been valid if she wasn't a good player i'm gonna drop it down to like a six and a half if you just meant can play the instrument at all yeah but either way it should be okay to take pictures with instruments whether or not you play those instruments or take the trumpet out still a fine picture the next comment is her legs are much nicer than mine and in reply, another guy says, duh. Oh, and her uh, lungs are much nicer, too. That's a 10. Yeah. That's a 10 for me. Just... The, the one, the first one was like a seven. I was nine and a half. Like, you shouldn't say that. No, yeah, the first one was a 10. The second one was just as gross, though. They're about equal. Yeah, just don't do that. Our next comment says, yep. She does all this with no heavy valve caps. If you've got it, flaunt it from It Ain't Shakespeare. What's with this weird comments like sexualizing valve caps? Yeah. May maybe we're missing something? Is there like a thing for that? I'm going to have to give that another nine. It's not terrible, but again, it's like pretty bad and also gross. The next comment reads, Well, everyone exploits their strengths to get the most of life, ain't it? Huh? What are you trying to say here, buddy? If you're implying that she's using her looks to get more, pretty gross, eight. Yeah. That's an eight. The next comment says, A tailor trumpet wouldn't need a model to detract from its beauty. This isn't an ad for the trumpet. It is a trumpet player. She's not a model. You weirdo. <laughs> Dude, no. Nine. Nine. In response, no man will mind a long-legged female along with his trumpet, tailor or not. There's a, there's another ten. You just made the woman into an object. Like, that's literally what you did. Yeah. That's super gross. That's a ten. Next comment says, yeah, when I was young, I could play anything placed in front of me. I'd love to hear her play Flight of the Bumblebee or Moto Perpetuo. So you're implying that just because she's pretty, she must not be good at the trumpet? And where's where's your video, pal? Post a video to prove it. That's literally what That's David what comments. David said. <laughs> I would have to say that I don't think this is an attack. This guy probably doesn't know who Lucien is. But he sounds like a fifth grader who just got first chair again and is, like, bragging to the rest of his buddies. Yeah. Well, I could play a C scale when I was your age. Yeah. I mean, at the very best, this is just, yeah, this is fifth grader talk. At the very worst, he's implying that she isn't good at the trumpet because of reasons. Because of the way she looks, probably. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to give that an uh, eight and a half. Cause it, Four I'm, if it's the better case, eight and a half is, is the worst case. The final one we've got here is, she speaks French. Well, I'll give her that. What does speaking French have to do with it? Not much. Est-ce que vraiment nécessaire? No. Like, I don't. Dude, what is that supposed to mean? She's a talented trumpet player and she can rock a photo. What, what does French have to do with this man? I give that a four. 
Five. Five. You're kind of being a butthole about it. Also, I don't... And like, how do you know she speaks French and not know that she's also a good trumpet player? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just, there's holes in this logic. Now we're going to change gears and switch over to something we call the Emerging Leaders Spotlight. This is a segment where we feature trumpet players in the dawn of their careers who are not only talented musicians, but a force for good in the trumpet community. This segment is inspired by the late Ryan Anthony, who championed the idea that, as musicians, we should also be positive and welcoming people. The musicians we feature are leaders in this initiative, and we are excited to see what they will continue to do for the music and trumpet communities in the future. Today's emerging leader is Abby Temple. From the Piedmont of North Carolina, Boston-based trumpeter and visual artist Abby Temple is passionate about chamber music, orchestral performance, early music, and the intersection of music and art. She is a co-founder of Chroma Collective, a trumpet duo that combines music and visual art in engaging performances and promotes composers from underrepresented backgrounds. Abby currently serves as co-principal trumpet with the Du Bois Orchestra in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and as a soloist, she recently performed a program of her own artistic connections and improvisations titled Color, Intuition, Sound. In the trumpet community, she is a founder of the first International Trumpet Guild student group designed to connect young trumpet players throughout the United States and beyond. Abby holds a Bachelor of Music in Music Performance from the University of Kentucky and is currently pursuing her master's degree at the Longy School of Music in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where she serves as a teaching assistant in Longy's El Sistema program and studies with Ashley Hall and Andy Kozar. So I started in seventh grade. My dad played trumpet when he was in middle school. So he was like, why don't you just play this instrument that we already have? And I just stuck with it. I think we all have a lot in common, especially with our personalities too. Yeah, I, I also have always had this like deep connection with visual art and music and I, I sometimes feel when I see something along with what I'm hearing I can remember it a lot better. A huge part of being a musician is that it is for everyone no matter what your skill is or level of talent it's something that you can always work on and get better at and it's a lifelong pursuit so you're never going to reach perfection. Anyone can do it. And if you really like have the passion to do it, then you should. There's something about our community that just makes it really fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you, Abby Temple, for your time and all of the wonderful materials. We had such fun. You can reach Abby online at www.abbytemple.com. And listeners can find links to her Facebook and Instagram on the website. The intro music is Night, a piece written by Abby Temple. And the emerging leaders music is Saint Sans the Swan. Thanks for listening, and remember, always play two cents sharp.